Hello and welcome to this session on Redis GUI Clients. In this session, we are going to look at some of the very commonly used GUI clients for Redis. So let's get started. The first one on our list is Redis Desktop Manager. Let us go to the main site of Redis Desktop Manager and it says cross-platform open source Redis DB management tool. So Redis Desktop Manager is available for Windows, Mac and Linux versions and I already have a separate session on how to use Redis Desktop Manager. You can look into it and it also has a very good documentation where it shows how to install on different operating systems and FAQs and other features overview. Second one on our list is Fasto Redis. Let us go to the website of Fasto Redis and it says it is a Redis GUI manager and it has some really cool features like auto completion, multiple shells and Redis cluster and again it is available for all the platforms Windows, Mac and Linux versions. The third one on our list is Redsmin. So Redsmin is again a very good GUI client for Redis. The only limitation for Redsmin is it is free for a single instance of Redis and if you want to use multiple instances of Redis then you have to pay for it. The fourth one on our list is Redis Commander. Now Redis Commander is a Node.js web application. Let us go to the website of Redis Commander and you can see it has all these features. It has a tree view, Redis CLI, tab completion and so on and you can install and run it through this command. Then we have Fasto NoSQL. Now this is a client which is available not just for Redis but for other NoSQL databases as well. So if you go to the website of Fasto NoSQL, it is available for all these databases and it has again all these cool features and you can download it for Mac, Windows and Linux versions. So these are the very commonly used Redis GUI clients. In case I have missed any commonly used GUI client, please do write them down in the comment section. I hope this session was useful for you. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video. In case you have any questions, please do write them down in the comment section. Thanks for watching and keep learning.